Breaking news. Busisi wa mkwebane, o public, former public protector, Busisi wa mkwebane, has resigned from the EFF. But before we can dive into her resignation that I've just seen now, we will have to talk about, we will have to talk about a lot of things. She was on a podcast where she spoke about the fact that there is a possibility, look, she will, she is going to resign from the EFF. On the other hand, you will remember that there was a time where um, Julius Malema, uh, after the resignation of Floyd Chivambo, Julius Malema said that there were a lot of people that were going to resign. The qu look, questions can now be asked as to when Malema said that was he was he referring to was he referring to the likes of Abo Busiswe Mkweban and. If she is resigning, the question that have to be asked is, where are you going? Because your husband is with the MK party. So could it be that you are going to the MK party? I don't know as of yet. Before I could read this, probably it will tell me something. But wait a minute. Take a look at uh, what she said when she was interviewed here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll be resigning soon uh, from the EFF. Then it means also I'm resigning from Parliament. You know, we've seen GNU with the advocate in Kwebani because ANC voted with the DA mm. and they managed to, to, to remove me. Being in Parliament again, it's so terrible that when you don't have numbers, there's nothing you can do. I have to ask you about MK Party. Well, they've approached me several times. Okay, so let's proceed then. Um, Jacaranda News uh, on look at Jaka News on Twitter. They have posted this, and they said, uh, "Breaking news or just the word just in or breaking news on Twitter." Uh, sometimes it's used interchangeably, but they just wrote ja look just in former public protector PP uh, Mkwebane. Uh, has resigned from the EFF. They then take us into confidence as to look at the, the letter. The, le the, the letter or the email says to the economic freedom fighter, CIC, Julius Malema, EFF, top six, EFF provincial and regional official commerces and fighters. The past seven years has made me realize that our fight for freedom was in vain. There has never been, there's never been a time where I felt my rights were violated as it has been, uh, as it has been done in the years. I was there, uh, look, I was the South African uh, public protector. This continued even after I was unconstitutionally removed by parliament and the president of the, uh, look, of South Africa, Sarah Ramaphosa. So we will continue with this journey. I'm going to continue to taking you into confidence and uh, continue reading this thing. But before I can continue successfully so, it will be nice for you to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying we'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so let's then proceed uh, as i continue reading the resignation letter it reads as follows i have encountered challenges and i felt I felt let down by current South African judiciary, parliament, executive, and more especially the mainstream media, who seems to have 
task uh, task to target and attack my character. Um, here, let me concur with Mambususwem uh, Kweban. Advocate. Yeah, let's put some respect in the name. I I really I really 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 believe what she's saying. Look at how media attacked that woman. She did not enjoy the same privilege that Tulima Donsela enjoyed when she was a public protector. So when she says that she's been badly treated by a judicial, parliament, executive, more especially mainstream media, I fully agree with her. Let's pro look... If you want to, if you want to disagree with her, look at how they are treating the current pr public protect. Do you see any scrutiny, any attack on her? Never. Why the previous one, Busiswa Mkobana, was attacked? I answer the ask. Why was she attacked? Let's proceed. Each step seems to seems more. Uh, the, the counting that the the last than the last, I have found my strength dwindling. This is exactly what they wanted. They wanted to suffocate, humiliate, and treat me less of a human being. My uh, look, my sin? Question mark. My sin was investigating the S. Uh, look, my sin was investigating the C I. C I E X a uh, bracket S A S A R B report C R seventeen donations and pala pala. My sin was delivering the report and findings against certain individuals who were affected and felt needed to be dealt with felt I needed to be dealt with harshly. Again, I fully concur. I fully concur. You will remember that EFF even raised a question to say, but that's not the way you treated, uh, like the way you treated the the one of Ubususu Mkoban. It's not the same way you treated, uh, I mean, not the one of Ubususu Mkoban, the one of Sir Ramaphosa, you sealed the, the bank statement. But it's not the same way you, you treated uh, the, the, the Jacob Zuma one. Why was there a different? Let's proceed. My family was attacked. My mother, who, who, who later passed away, never knew peace after journalists harassed her. I survived many attempts where, where there were plans to take my life, plans to kill her. Today I'm saying goodbye to you fighters. After carefully consideration and talking to my family, they advised and I felt I needed to grow, to go away, spend time with them, rest and continue fight for the vulnerable where possible. Okay? In my, uh, look, in my time of need, you fighters extended helping hand, becoming a refugee for me over the past 12 months. Your unwavering support has been a bacon of hope, and for that, I am deeply grateful. Now it's time for me to focus on spending cherished moments with my family. Thank you for standing by me. With heartfelt appreciation, until we meet again, Aluta Continua, Advocate Busisiwe Mkwebane. Oh, my daughter, she's gone. Like literally gone. Uh, I want to ask you a question. Do you think? Do you do you think Uguti? She's lying when she says she was mistreated. And me, I will tell you the truth. I believe every single word that she has been she has uttered when she says that she has been mistreated by mainstream media, Abu Ramaphosa, their gang. Yeah, man. I believe her. 
from the bottom of my heart. I strongly believe her. What about you? I'm interested to hear your thoughts and your opinion in the comment section below. Till we meet again, good people, please take care.